What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. Um, we're just heading out on another Tesla adventure. Welcome to a vlog three. All right, just departing my apartment here. Um, we're starting off with heading out to the Payson, Arizona supercharger, which is northeast of my residence in Mesa. Um, not sure where we're gonna head after that, but we'll start off with heading to Payson and go from there. It's a really nice mountain drive up to Payson. And I've only driven from Payson to the Phoenix area, not from the Phoenix area to Payson. So um, I'm curious how that is going uphill. It should be a little bit different, but either way, it's gonna be beautiful. I'll probably pull off, do some drone shots and stuff, and then maybe head west, maybe head east. Not really sure. It's about two o'clock now, so I don't have a ton of time before sunset, but we'll make the most of it. So as we're driving up here in the mountains headed to Payson, I um, want to touch on one of the key features of an electric car is that when you're driving in elevation, you don't actually lose any power or anything, uh, unlike a naturally aspirated gas car that uh, as you go up in elevation, you actually lose power due to the elevation and thinner air. Um, also as you're going down some of these grades, you're actually gaining energy back into your battery pack rather than, rather than wearing out your brakes like you would in a gas vehicle. Found this spot off the main road here. Um, put the drone in the air, got some sweet shots. You guys will see those. Um, it's just a beautiful day. I think it's about 78 here in Payson. Uh, we're just south of actual uh, downtown Payson. All right, just pulled into the Payson supercharger. I'm gonna plug in here, warm pack, 107 Fahrenheit, or actually, sorry, 109 average. Uh, we're at 38% charge, 70 degrees outside. Got some disinfecting wipes here because we are still in the midst of COVID-19. Get out here, unplug, or plug in, I mean. There we go, we're all plugged in. Um, might just walk around here since all the restaurants and stuff are closed. Here we go. I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna drive to next and go from there. All right, made a route decision. Um, decided we're gonna go through Pine and Camp Verde uh, up from Payson. Looks like there's some pretty fun roads in there, so looking forward to that. We'll see if we need to stop in Coors Lakes or if we'll stop in New River, but either way, we'll be kind of doing a giant loop we left from Mesa here. We went up the Beeline Highway 87 here to Payson. Uh, we'll be going over across on the 260 and then down 17 through Camp Verde um, and then decide charging from there.
All right, found a little pull off here. Um, taking some pictures with my car. Got my actual DSLR here. Um, wanted to produce some Instagram content. Also put the drone up and got some really sweet shots. We're in kind of this forest area here, as you can see behind us. So I was able to put it up well above the tree line and get some awesome shots for you guys. We're here at Cordes Lakes, pulled in at 1%. Um, pack is very warm, average cell temp 121. Got my disinfectant wipe here. Let's get plugged in here. Hear the fans running. Just heard the contactors click. There we go. So it looks like it is restricting the current a little bit just due to the really low state of charge is probably, as well as probably the very hot pack. So it should ramp up here, but not gonna make you guys wait. All right, so I'm not normally a person that would switch stalls at a supercharger for slow speeds, but this is not normal. Uh, so I am gonna move one stall over to a different cabinet. All right, so I moved over here. We're at 4%. Um, so in doing so, I actually realized that this is kind of a weird supercharger setup. So we've got 1A there, we've got 2A, we've got 3A, but then they go into Bs along that way. So it's a little bit different than most superchargers, and I believe the two at the end are probably newer. So if this one's not good, I'll move over there. All right, update here. Glad I moved. This is much better than the 50-ish kilowatt that I was getting. Absolutely incredible sunset tonight. Nice and pink. Video doesn't quite do it justice, but we're just about to head out here from the Cordes Lakes. Supercharger, and then I'll be able to make it home. All right, just about home here, but first stopping at a great to-go place called Salad and Go. We've got a barbecue ranch wrap that I ordered ahead online and frozen strawberry lemonade. So looking forward to that. Haven't really eaten a whole lot today. Hi there, where can I get started for you? Uh, mobile order for Brandon, please. All righty, pull through. Let's Thank you. All right, guys, we made it home. Uh, a little over 278 miles today, 98 kilowatt hours, 354 watt hours per mile. Um, it was a fun day of driving, lots of fun mountain roads. Went <clears throat> very quickly throughout. 
Um, I would definitely drive that route again and recommend it. If any of you are interested in the route, let me know. I can send it to you. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please press the like button. Um, otherwise, also subscribe to get more. Thank you.